All right, guys. So we started the day oh, about an hour ago, but we are here at the pole out right next to Evanston, Wyoming. Figure we'll check on the tarp, let the putty puppy go potty, and then keep heading down the road. Well, she looks like she's holding up good. So just walked around, checked the straps, checked the tarp. Come on, bud. Just making sure that nothing's coming loose, so everything seems to be doing good. You ready to go? <gasps> Tank, you ready to go? Should we get back in the warm truck? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, come on. Yeah. Just letting little Tank use the bathroom and we have to take our 30 minute break. We were essentially six minutes from running into violation. <laughs> As you can see, for the most part, everything's riding safe. The tarp still looks really good. We did have one casualty though. As I said, this stuff slides around on the pallet. Well, Somehow, one of them ended up <laughs> on the trailer, so. Oh, and if you guys are ever looking for cheap property, get on realtor.com or one of those joints. Search Modena, Utah, or Burl, Utah is right back there. And so I live about an hour south, just over the hills right here. Cedar City, Utah is out over those hills, about 40 minutes away. But all this land, it's not much out here. I mean, it's sagebrush, but you can still get land out here for a thousand dollars an acre. And it's pretty populated nowadays. When I was a kid, you know, there was nobody out here, but you know, people have started moving out here, making little ranches and there's a bunch of farmers. So if you guys want cheap property in the Southwest part of Utah, there's a good elk unit up here. Hey, come back here. Don't go out by the road. It's a good elk unit up here and I also deer hunt down here that's Pine Valley Mountain the biggest mountain down this way so that's separating us from where I live and then uh, Enterprise Utah is just right here over these hills and I archery hunt out there for uh, for deer but there's a massive elk unit right here out in front of us that is it takes about 15 years to draw a tag for let's go break time's over we gotta go come on come on let's go <laughs> the bushes are taller than he is it's like just some little grass and he's like i don't know how i get through this come on let's go come on break time's over we gotta go come on come on Come on. <laughs> Little rat dog. Are you gonna make it? Need some help? It's like a labyrinth for you. He's like, I don't know where to go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Pick up the speed. He's my little cylinder with legs. Come on.
on the plus side, I'm delivering next to another bar again. <laughs> Too bad I don't drink and don't want to stay the night. So I'm headed home. I have two hours and 55 minutes drive time. That's probably just enough to get home. I might have a little extra time, but let me show you that product. I tell you what, these guys are moving fast out here in, uh, where the hell am I? Caliente. So let me flip the camera around. Let me go show you what we hauled real quick. We'll go on the other side. People out in the street. So this is the product. So it's these Crystal Licks pails, as you can see. And so there's not very much plastic wrap around them as you can see they rip the corners off and once they start moving around there's no stopping them they like to go so those plastic and metal containers definitely slide on the damn pallet but we made it we only had one casualty one slid off the back but they already picked it up I was just talking with the owner here of this hardware store in Caliente. And so this is, it's um, nutrients for cattle is what it is. So they just throw it out there and let the cattle go to town on it. And it has all their nutrients and whatnot in there. But he's owned, he's owned this store right here for 44 years. And that's his son over there driving the forklift right there walking in the building that's gonna buy it so kind of a cool older gentleman he has some family that lives in the same city that I live in so we've been sitting here BS and why getting unloaded but we have four pallets left and then we will get out of here but this is essentially Caliente Nevada Just a little teeny town what I was saying about making sure you have V boards though as you can see that they're just buckets essentially and so you want some kind of a v-board or a big corner protector to hold everything on and then on your front pallet and your back pallet you're going to want to cross strap them so it keeps anything from sliding forward or sliding backwards i assume that the tarp would hold it and like you've seen earlier in the video that back bucket still slid off even with the tarp there so uh, from now on, looks like we're cross-strapping. Anybody want a burger or a sandwich? Go to old Carl's Burgers. You just have to take the wood off the door. <laughs> All right, we are out of here. Headed home for the weekend. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing more of what I do rather than just looking at me talk to a camera because as much as I like spreading my knowledge, I know it can be boring to just sit there and look at somebody that's just talking to you. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of the town. I'll see you on the next video. Like, share, subscribe, all those fun things we do. And I'm headed home.